Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man 3. I am your host, Melee Wizard, and in a bit of a psych out move, I, instead of going to Sparkman, I'm going to Magnet Man instead. Why? I don't know. But that's what I'm doing and just that's just how it's gonna be. Fair enough. Alright. <laughs> yeah, that just died out there. And true to form. One of the main enemy enemies in here is magnets, and which can be very irritating when there's pits involved. Yeah, you have to be very careful sometimes because one false move and you're dropped right into a pit. Ah, and here we have this guy again. And just go ahead and deal with you. There we go. And whoop, we have control. Ah! Go away. So. Yeah, I tend to pride myself in my <laughs> button mashing sometimes. Yeah, because no turbo button there, baby. Uh, yep, and we have vacuum tubes, which can be very irritating. And some health that I don't really need. And the part of Mega Man games that everybody loves, the uh, disappearing platforms. And I'm going to see if I can't get through these things without having to resort to a rush jet. There we go. First try, no less. Very nice. Alright. Maybe I just have those things memorized uh, somehow. Of course, considering I've been playing this game for on and off for, well, what, 20 years? Ah. Alright. Well. Hey, an extra life. Very <laughs> wow, two of them. Cool. One thing I like about this game is that the life count can go into double digits. So. And here we have Magnet Man, who has two primary attacks, and uh, it seems fitting that ah, so he has that. And he has two weapons that are actually good against him. One is the Shadow Blade, and the other is the Spark Shock, which I don't actually have. And... Ah! Come on. And I like how you can shoot the shadow blade in multiple directions. Shame you can't aim it downwards, but oh well. And off we go! And so we get the magnet missile! You know, it's irritating when other enemies have heat seeker, heat seeking shots. It's very nice when you get some of your own. And here we're going into the hard man stage, which in some ways just it, the stage itself lives up to the name. Mostly because of those stupid bees, which yeah, that's probably the best tactic to use against those things. To just make them despawn like that. Oh, and that didn't work. Because if it doesn't work, then he drops those bees on top of you. And, yep, best tread lightly there. And here we have another instance of Hammer Joe. And it's this is a good spot to demonstrate the magnet missile. There we go. And... It's a good thing that we get Rush Coil from the start, or else that jump would not be possible. And now we have a Rock Staircase. And yes, oh, these monkeys, how I despise them so. Mostly because, yeah, and just wait for it. Ah! Go away. It, it can take some strategy to get rid of those things sometimes. Of course, since I had the magnet missile, I didn't really need to, but whatever. So I can heal myself up some. 
And they have another stupid monkey. Okay, just... Oh, boy. Oh! Okay, thank you! <laughs> Not gonna complain about that one. Okay. Now we have more street sweepers. Ah, uh, yes. I remember, I believe this was the first stage I ever completed when I f first played Mega, Mega Man 3. Mostly because of that one energy tank. I, I remember trying to go through the Magnet Man stage and finding it to be too hard, so I just... ended up going into Hard Man, which happened to have an energy tank, and... tanked my way through it. And, yeah, this is not gonna be fun. Ah, come on, no! Come on, give me some health. Please, yeah, uh, oh, okay, that's fine. And as far as Breakman fights, this one's probably the most irritating because of the stupid rock formations. Come on. Ah! Come on. Thank you. Alright. Thank goodness to get a heal, or else th this part would suck. And another. Pneumatic jumper. Lovely. Alright, time to switch to the magnet missile. Yeah, this guy, he is actually quite difficult. Mostly because... Oh, crap, no. Oh, boy, this is not... Um... I'm not gonna push my luck there. Yeah. I would have died there if I hadn't used the energy tank, so... That's... alright. Yeah, the thing is with Hard Man is that most attacks don't do much of anything. He's resistant, if not completely immune, to most attacks. So, yeah, if you don't have the mag magnet missile, you're in for a hard fight. Which seems appropriate, really. So, you get the Hard Knuckle. Which is kind of an awkward weapon, but nowhere near as awkward as the top spin. And here we have the Sparkman stage. It has also one of my favorite pieces of music in this entire game. So I'll just sit back and enjoy it for a moment. Ah. Alright, yeah, so those... Oh, hammered. Those moving... Uh, electrical gates. Yeah, those things can be irritating. Dinosaurs will be seeing more of them, and... Oh, uh, boy, the bane of many a gamer, I'm sure. These rising platforms into the spike ceiling. Oh, which... Oh, ah, dang it. Ah, that was bad timing on my part. Eh... Starting right back at the beginning again. Alright, fair enough. And, uh, dang it, I need to work on my timing on that thing. Just, eh. and I need to realize where my hitbox is, too. I'm wondering, I'm actually wondering myself why I'm not using the rush jet on the platform stage, but I guess. That really wasn't the issue part I had problems with, was it? Okay. Uh, jump. And jump. Alright. Okay. I need to time this perfectly. Sort of, maybe. Ah, oh well. I got through it. I survived. Okay, and I'm not going to go to that thing. That thing's not worth the, ish the effort. I don't even know what to call those things. And I have the 10-story drop. That Mega Man can survive with no problems whatsoever. Because he's a video game character and this is not World of Warcraft. And, okay. 
as long as you keep moving, those block shoots don't pose much of an issue. And but this area probably will. And actually, yeah, since I have it, I might as well use Rush Jet for this because this, uh, yeah, rising platforms plus enemies. Yeah, lovely. Uh, let's see if I can get more health from these guys. No, oh well. And, uh, I'm switching to the Shadow Blade, which is the weapon of choice against this guy. And just because of how the layout is and how he moves, I find this is probably one of the hardest of the eight bosses outright. Just because there's really... There's no easy way to avoid him. But with Shadow Blade, just seven shots and he's dead. Alright. So we've beaten all eight of them now. And what weapon do we have this time? The Spark Shock. A rather straightforward weapon. And what do we have here? Just when you thought things were done, no. So, yeah, I'm not going to try my luck starting on those right now. So join me next time when things get a lot, uh, a lot more difficult. Until then, this is Melee Wizard, and have a nice day.